this map is showing the planning and MFL schedules. In July of 2018, the governing board accepted the water supply assessment, which resulted in the extension of the water resource caution area to be overlapping with the entire partnership area with the North Florida Regional Water Supply Plan. So that rulemaking is done for that eastern part, and that eastern part, Gilchrist, Alachua, Bradford, Union, Columbia, Swanee, and Hamilton are all in a water resource caution area. In addition, there was a recommendation for the initiation of regional planning west of the Swanee River, uh, so Madison, Buffet, and Dixie, and then in Dini County. And that recommendation was based on the hatch area re reflects the area where regional planning was recommended, and it was drawn along the potential measure to provide for Madison, Lafayette, Dixie, Weedian, and a little portion of Taylor County. To date, the data that we have available in the district doesn't revise the recommendation for regional water supply planning for that western portion of the district that's shown in the hatch area there. And so, pursuant to the Florida Rule 62 40 520, within one year of the determination that a regional water supply plan is needed for a water supply planning region, the region shall also be designated as a water resource. So, in July of this year, the staff will be bringing forward rulemaking to update the water resource caution area boundaries in the applicant's handbook. So I want to bring you up to date on the activities that we've been doing since the acceptance of the water supply assessment last July. Much of the effort has been focused on making sure that we have the best possible estimates of water use for 2015. We workshopped that with you guys, the preliminary draft estimates, in, in March of this year, and we've continued to work with technical experts, reaching out to adjacent water management districts, people that work in the agricultural community, to our large industrial users, and to our county managers, to make sure that we're getting those estimates correct. We've also been working with the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services to make sure that the projections that we're using reflect the best available information in terms of agricultural projections. Um, we did the workshopping. We've also been working with, of course, our resource management group here to make sure that we're doing the best possible job of reflecting our actual water use when we do our water supply estimation. And also, people from the Agriculture and Environmental Projects Division to make sure that we're understanding what type of information they can provide and where cost share is going in that type of information. For the four counties that will be impacted by the water resource caution area declaration, because they have wastewater treatment facilities that are within that hatched area, that will be Madison, Lafayette, Dixie, and Wheaton counties. We attended county commission meetings presented the water use estimates and presented the agricultural growth projections to them and answered any questions. In terms of next steps, we're going to finalize our 2015 water use estimates and we will publish a technical report that's under management review right now. Compared to what you saw in terms of the estimated water use to the district, our best estimates right now is that we're slightly lower, about five inches lower than what was presented in March, to about 253 million gallons per day of groundwater usage in our district. We're going to continue to seek opportunities to share the data that we have with respect to water use and water, water supply projections in these upcoming months. In terms of scheduled meetings at this point, we have a meeting scheduled with the Swanee Grove Partnership Steering Committee in May and the Itch Tucking Partnership in June. We would be interested in hearing any suggestions that, might, that you might have in terms of other outreach venues or suggestions of people to present this information to, again, to make sure that we're sharing the information and that our information is the best possible for our district. The district is also continuing to review and incorporate planning information to improve our water use and growth projections for the Swanee River Basin. This will include work to incorporate use estimates and growth projections produced by Georgia for the northern part of the Swanee River Basin. So planning documents produced by Georgia indicate that the Swanee Satilla region, which is just to the north of us, is projecting approximately a 20% growth in total water demand, groundwater and surface water, through 2050. That's slightly lower than the, the groundwater growth projections that we have for our own district, but suggests that we should be planning holistically for the entire basin as we go forward in time. And then, as required per the recommendation to initiate regional planning for the water supply from the water supply assessment last July and July of this year, the district would initiate rulemaking to update the handbook and designate the Western Water Resource Caution Area. The district would coordinate with the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, city managers, and water reuse managers to make sure that the implications of being a water resource contractor for the water treatment facilities is clear to them. Per the DEP reuse coordinator, the potentially impacted municipal wastewater treatment facilities that would be Cross City, Cedar Key, Chiefland, Mayo, and Madison 
those are the, the communities that have wastewater treatment facilities above 0.1 MTD that are in that western portion of the district. They are exempt from any reduced feasibility study requirements that might be triggered by the water resource caution area at this point in time because their permitted reuse capacity is already at their treatment capacity at this point in time. So they wouldn't have any additional burden at this point. If they did expand, then there would again be an analysis as to whether a reuse feasibility study would be required. So at this point, I'd be happy to answer any questions.